You know, the great thing about heroes like Gordon is they, they tell us that the impossible is possible. Your dreams can come true. I grew up going to the movies every weekend. We'd come home and then you'd, you'd play the movie. You'd get a stick and you were out in the yard playing stick, playing Hercules. I learned a lot about life from watching movies. I learned a lot about right and wrong from watching movies. They had these TV movie of the week, and after these movies, they oftentimes would show a featurette and the making of. And the one I really remember was when I saw the featurette for the making of the learning tree. There's Gordon, and he's the director. And he's black, and he's on a horse, and he's wearing a cowboy hat. He's got the legendary pipe, and he's in charge, and he's pointing, and he's directing, and he's telling people what to do. And he's in Fort Scott, and that's a couple of hours from my town, Junction City. And it's real. The magic is real. You can do this. You can be that guy. He's a director. He's a photographer. He's a poet. He's a writer. He's also a musician, and he's a composer. But I think more than anything, he's an artist. He grows up in Fort Scott, part of what Gordon grew up with, that small town America, that small Kansas town, is that it gives you the space to be creative. It gives you the space to imagine. It gives you the space to feel like you can do anything. Then he leaves and he goes to Minnesota. There's a lot of positive things that happen there, but also a lot of negative things that happened to him. Poverty was a big, big obstacle that he faced. Poverty, more than anything, it's a lack of choices. And so when you choose something, it defines your life, positive or negative. And so when he found the camera, that's where he learned that the camera could be a weapon you could use as something really positive and a way to fight back. You can fight back with art, you can fight back with truth. That's the thing that changes everything for him. And that leads to Life Magazine. He becomes this fashion photographer and then he expands to a variety of assignments. He's taking photos in Harlem, he's shooting Muhammad Ali, he's shooting celebrities, he's shooting the black Muslims. He becomes a man of images. He was driven by the right set of values, but also the values of, of trying to make America a great place, trying to make America fair, trying to make America a more just country. It's his success at Life Magazine that provides him the opportunity to write The Learning Tree. He becomes the first African-American director of a studio movie in Hollywood. He's the guy that broke that ceiling. I mean, this is one of those, those signposts in history, like this is when that happened, bang, you stick the flag in the ground. The fact that you can take a tour of that, you can stand where, where Gordon stood, you see how the scenes played out and the locations that actually existed there. It's a really great thing. And then he does Shaft. Woo! Yes, indeed. It was just like a dream come true. It was like the thing that you hungered for that you didn't know you were so hungry for. And what it was, we, you know, we, you know, Clint Eastwood was my hero. You know, James Bond was our hero. We didn't have any black heroes. Not like that. He's the black Superman. He's, he gets the girl. He gets the money. He gets to be cool. He's got a soundtrack. <laughs> I mean, it is everything that we were hungry for as kids. And Gordon gave us that. So often when you have success, people try to run from where they came from. He never did that. And I think he knew that even though there was discrimination and there was segregation in Fort Scott at that time, that there was also love and community and truth. He wasn't afraid to go back and put his foot in the pain because he knew there was more than just pain there. There was, there was a lot of greatness and a lot of things that created Gordon Parks from that. This is the place for the museum. And the fact that we've got one is a dream come true. To me, thinking about as a kid looking at him, him being larger than life, then him going on to have 
such an amazing life and that we celebrate him here at Fort Scott with the museum. This is as good as it gets.